honestly, I'm just a struggling Christian trying to find my way in this world. I've got lots of questions, lots of uh, things that I don't know, and yeah. What is up you sexy beasts? It is Vakey here. Hey, if it's your first time on the channel, uh, I release videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday uh, on the topics around family, fitness, faith and a bit of filming. Um, so if you're into that kind of stuff, please subscribe and follow along the journey, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm here with my man Josiah Hine. I'm going to link his, uh, his YouTube channel and his Instagram uh, in the description and also at the end of the video. So get, go check this man out. He's a good dude and he's going to share some great wisdom today as well. Um, I'm at a very special place here called Benji's Seat. This is a little seat that we installed in memory of my uh, my son who passed away four years ago. I'm going to do a special vlog about that because I haven't really talked about that much on here on the channel. Uh, but we're in Raglan, Raglan, New Zealand. And when I come here, I often uh, kind of just think about life and think about deep things. And so today's vlog might be a little bit deeper than usual. Um, often I come here and I, talk, I think about my faith in God and what that all means. Um, it's been a place where I've yelled at God and swore at Him and doubted Him. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a real raw place where I kind of just yeah, get in touch my emotions and, uh, and think about life. So what I wanted to talk about is I've been thinking about um, I've been thinking about the fact that I grew up in a Christian home and I think a lot of my friends, especially people that um, don't go to church or don't believe in God, I think they they think that because I went to church as a kid, that's why I'm a Christian. So I'm, I'm a Christian because I went to church and that's how I grew up. So I just kind of inherited that faith, which is not the case at all. Um, to be honest, like I think you know, even people who grow up and grow up in church get to a point where they have to make a decision for themselves. And I know for me, like even going to church might have been, in a sense, almost a negative thing. Like you, as a kid, you kind of rebel against the whole thing because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be seen going to church with your, your parents. You know, it's not a cool thing to do. And so often you kind of go the opposite direction. And so um, yeah, so I think uh, the reason I want to bring Josiah on the vlog today is because. Josiah didn't grow up in church like I did. He didn't grow up in a Christian family where they attended church every Sunday. He found God at a later stage in life. And so I thought I can just get him to just literally in two or three minutes just kind of share his experience and his story as someone who didn't know much about God or, or didn't believe in Him and how that turned around. So um, yeah, maybe just share, share a little bit about yeah. what you think I'm at. Yeah, so for me it was more... Uh, I, I just thought the whole thing was, was, uh, was bull. You know, I just like to put it bluntly that I just thought it was people seeking comfort um, over an existence or a, the end of an existence and they just wanted comfort to, to, to say that they, their loved ones were in a better place but I didn't see genuine faith and I, I just thought what's the point of going if there's no God if, if there's nothing real here and that was always my position and I kind of looked down on people that went to church because it was like why would you waste your time? And my friends would say, oh, it makes us feel better. But still, if it's not real, it's, it's, it's pointless, right? Um, and for me, it wasn't until I was 18, moved to Australia, and kind of got encapsulated by this community of people my age who just loved God, and there was like this relationship thing, and, and they just um, showed me what was possible. Whoa, like, like, maybe I haven't worked it all through and I think I rethought my whole atheism in a, in a way that it was like I think my atheism was actually built on disappointment not on atheism right like like I don't yeah like I don't not believe in Santa Claus because I was disappointed Do you know what I mean like yeah. that's not a legit atheism of Santa or a Santa I don't know <laughs> so, yeah. but but yeah and, and it wasn't until I I actually, much like this spot where you're swearing and yelling at God, it was, I went to a beach and was yelling and yeah, swearing and God, if you're real, I want, I want to know. Yeah. And um, yeah, and, and, and he became more real to me than, than anything. And yeah, but I, I didn't have that upbringing. It was, it was personal revelation, I guess, later. I, I, 
I'd yeah. say is dead cold. Yeah, sure. And so when you say it became more real than anything for you, was that in an instant or was it over a t period of time of you just kind of committing to trying to experience God or get to know him or, uh, yeah, like how would yeah. you say yeah. Well, it was in a period of about a month of trying and being open, yeah. but it happened in an instant. Like it was, I woke up one morning and I could prove Jesus God to anyone. It was like I had an epiphany or I, I thought differently. Yeah, sure. But, but I, I remember almost giving up. Yeah. I'm going, I'm trying here. Yeah. I remember calling people who, yeah, just going, how do you believe? And yeah. really struggling in that, in that season of, but, but of just staying open. Yeah. Um, and then it happened, but then, yeah, it was yeah. it was more. Why would why would God love me? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. And then that was when I, yeah, like, met Jesus and He revealed that He's my dad. Yeah, yeah. And He, oh my God, of course, my dad would love me. Like, yeah, yeah, I love it. That revelation, I guess. Yeah, so good, so good. So all I wanted to share today, guys, was just literally a thought that I had around, you know, is my Christianity based on uh, my family and my upbringing? And honestly, truly, the answer for me is no, if not. I still got to a point where I was like, okay, that's cool. My mum and dad taught me this, but it has to be real for me. And I had to make the decision and find that out for myself as well. So, um, yeah, I guess my encouragement for you is to, if that is something that you've thought about, or, um, you know, if, if you get to a stage in your life where you feel like, oh, there must be more to this thing, just, yeah, maybe take a just eyes approach, you know, just, just be open and real. Like, um, you don't have to pretend it, ha it has to be real, you know, like, um, yeah, so. Hope that's helpful guys. Uh, if you have any thoughts around this, pop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Love to continue the conversation. And um, these kind of thoughts on faith, it is definitely um, something new for me to share, but uh, hopefully you appreciate it. It's just something that's raw and real. And I'm just a struggling Christian, just trying to find my way. So just want to kind of share my thoughts and experiences. Have a great day guys, and I'll see you in the next vlog.